Good Saturday morning, everybody. Hang on one second here. Get a better view of myself. Not that we need it, but kind of nice to have anyway. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of our exclusive online video weather blog, Weather Overtime. If you've never been here before, this is our quick look at what's going on at weather across the Mid-South area. And if you'd like to know more about what's happening, all you have to do is tune in to our video weather page. At, that's at wreg.com slash weather for the complete forecast. Currently, again, looking at some fairly cool temperatures. We've got numbers again throughout the Mid-South, back into the lower 40s, into the lower section of your screen. If you're looking right here, that's the current conditions that we're recording by temperatures today with the forecast icon. Southerly winds about 10 miles an hour and low temperatures tonight going back into the mid to upper 40s to around the lower 50s or so. And if you have any questions about this forecast or want to keep up to date with what's going on in regards to what's happening with the weather, all you have to do is go to these video pages, these online social media pages, and we'll keep you updated as to what's going on across the Mid-South. Currently looking at chilly conditions across the area and numbers throughout the rest of the day going to be going back into around the mid to upper 50s by the time we head into later on this afternoon and into this evening. A little bit nicer conditions again is what we've seen throughout the last couple of days. A little bit cooler thanks to that cold air that dropped on south out of Canada. These temperatures will be again just a little bit on the warmer side back into the mid to upper 60s or so which again for this time of the year a little bit above normal so not doing too bad in clouds here and there but mostly sunny throughout the entire day for today so not seeing too much of a problem out there. Sunrise this morning at about 6.33. Sunrise tomorrow at about 6.32 so we've got about a 11 hours and 20 minutes of sunlight out there. No rainfall for yesterday. We are dry once again. We are again not seeing anything in the way of very good news where it comes to precipitation out there as we are behind for the year by about two and a half inches so we could definitely use some more help on the rainfall. Yesterday's high and low very close to normal just about one or two degrees below normal for this time of the year. Normal for this time of the year is actually pretty close to around 60 degrees for the Memphis metro area and we spent most of yesterday in the mid to upper 50s so a little bit below normal but otherwise not too bad and it was a beautiful day out there throughout much of the mid-south. Currently again temperatures back in the 40s we should be going for high temperatures going back into around the lower 50s or so that well, not high temperatures but temperatures by about mid-morning in the lower to mid 50s and seeing again some very pleasant numbers across much of the area. Now the one thing for today is going to be seeing again the winds coming back in from out of the south and southeast so that's going to again give us some very mild conditions out there and that's going to be keeping the temperatures up throughout the course of the rest of the day so this is going to be a little bit warmer than what we've seen out there for a while. By lunchtime temperatures today are going to be going back into around the lower to mid 60s or so and heading into around the rest of the afternoon. Peak heating time of the day, mid to upper 60s, just a bit above normal for this time of the year. So looking pretty nice out across much of the Mid-South. Winds occasionally gusting over about 10 miles per hour, but not doing too bad where it comes to any problems out in the Mid-South area. And then tonight, again, temperatures, when the sun sets, usually drops off pretty quickly, especially at this time of the year. Tonight, with those winds coming in out of the south, we'll be seeing, again, the numbers not doing too bad out there back into the mid to upper 50s as we head towards sunset and afterwards. News Channel 3 at 10, winds continue out of the south, maybe a few 40s taking place into around uh, southwest Tennessee, northeastern parts of Arkansas. Beyond that, again, temperatures pretty mild, actually, all the way on through. And tomorrow morning, the gray colors on screen, that's cloud cover, and chances of rain start to increase by around daybreak tomorrow morning morning but here's the thing with what you're looking at here we do have again some rain in the forecast again to, as we go into tomorrow morning but as this stuff makes its way into the mid-south area it's going to be moving into very dry air humidities this morning are very much on the low side so as this moisture makes its way into the mid-south the dry air is already going to be in place across much of the area so even as this stuff makes its way across the Mississippi River we may see some echoes on radar tomorrow but it's going to be evaporating on its way down because the the dry air needs to be kind of overcome by more moisture. We're just not seeing anything the way very heavy amounts of rainfall because the 
atmosphere at the lower levels is still very dry, so it's doubtful we're going to be seeing too much of anything in the way of rainfall out there. Temperatures for today, again, about mid to upper 60s or so. Heading into tomorrow, a few scattered showers into afternoon and evening. More chances of thunderstorms into around the early portion of next week, and the numbers back in the high 60s to lower 70s. These numbers will be well above normal for this time of the year. So looking at some very mild conditions out across much of the Mid-South. Looking into international weather, for those of you with friends, loved ones, or relatives serving in the United States military, taking a look into Iraq, temperatures about 80 in Basra with partly cloudy skies, sunny in Najaf, temperatures in the upper 60s, 63 with cloudy skies in Baghdad, and a little bit of rain taking place into Mosul, cooler with temperatures back in the lower 50s. Temperatures in the Persian Gulf, we are back into the 70s for the most part, with the exception of some showers in to and around the area of Bahrain with a few winds out of the north at about 13 miles an hour. There are Doha and Qatar, winds out of the east-southeast about 22 miles per hour with partly cloudy skies there. Looking into Afghanistan, temperatures in the 30s, clear skies around Faizabad, 40s around Kabul, 50s at Herat, and 60s with partly cloudy skies around the Kandahar area. Toward the demilitarized zone of South Korea and into around the rest of the area, mid to upper 30s to lower 40s, a few clouds around Pusan, mostly clear skies throughout much of of the rest of the country and back down toward Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. We've got temperatures again back into the mid 70s. That's so far the high temperature for the day of 76 degrees and no rainfall showing up so far. If you'd like to know more about severe weather, this will be the place to do it. This week and next week, several meetings coming up being taught by the National Weather Service in Memphis. And again, this will be your opportunity to take classes as offered by the National Weather Service for taking a look at severe weather. These classes last about an hour or so. They are free and open to the public. These are not the only ones. There's about maybe a dozen more of these coming up throughout the next couple of weeks, including one for Memphis that will be held on the 23rd of March at Lord of Life Lutheran Church. What you're looking at here, these meetings are just the next five. Starting Monday, this coming Monday in Pocahontas, Arkansas. Tuesday, March 7th in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Next Saturday morning in Jonesboro at St. Bernard's Auditorium. Monday next in Tunica at the Fire Department on 909 River Road and Lee County, Arkansas at the Fire Department next Tuesday, not the coming Tuesday, but next Tuesday, March 14th at 6.30 p.m. Great opportunity to learn more about what severe weather is, how to protect yourself, what to look for when severe weather hits, how to report the information back to the National Weather Service. You become the eyes and the ears of the National Weather Service out in the community. Not chasers, spotters. Chasing is a completely different thing, and this is about just making certain you know what to look for and how to keep you and your community safe. Great opportunity to learn more more on this, so please consider becoming a spotter. Thanks to Jacqueline Stafford for views of the damage around Finley, Tennessee from earlier this week. Also some very nice sunrises reported around the Somerville area from Camaro 28 Always. Thank you very much for a very nice view there. And of course, Louie Haskett up around northeastern Arkansas. Beautiful sunset around the area of Thursday, so a very nice view there. Got anything you'd like to share with us picture-wise? We'd love to see them and share them with everybody, but we can't show them if you don't send them, so send them along to twitter.com slash aonic underscore wreg3. My complete forecast available throughout the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network. And of course, I'll be on the Memphis AM radio show Monday through Friday, 7 to 9 a.m., followed by Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh Sports Chat on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. And don't forget to download our weather app. It's available at your particular app store, whatever platform you've got. Go to your app store and search WREG weather for more information on that. I'll have more details on the rest of the forecast tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10, and again tomorrow on News Channel 3 for Sunday. Questions, concerns, comments, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. You can find out more by going to this website right here, wreg.com slash weather, and of course you've got all those social media pages you can find me on there. I'm meteorologist Austin... <coughs> Try that again. I need more coffee. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with the latest update of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us for Saturday morning, and stay tuned for more throughout the weekend with News Channel 3 on air and online.